Welcome back. This is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, we're going to talk about changes coming to the next season of Destiny, specifically around auto rifles and some exciting things that I think are coming. Again, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe to the channel. So let's talk about some of the recent changes announced in the TWAB. There are a lot of changes around a lot of weapons that I'm not going to talk about in detail, but specifically what I'm super, super excited about is some of the changes to auto rifles. Now, I know a lot of people are say even if they make changes, auto rifles are never going to make a comeback. But I don't know. We'll see. In year one of Destiny 1, I used to rock your old gift. I love the auto rifle meta. And hopefully we're going to see a return of that. So to get into the details of the change, there will be changes to specific archetypes. The precision archetype of auto rifles will get a 7% increase to precision damage. So these are your weapons like your breaknecks, your old gift, your ringing nail, things like that. The adaptive frames are going to see a 15% buff to non-precision and a 15 buff to precision damage, which is pretty sizable. These weapons are going to be like your gnawing hunger, forward path. There's a lot of different types of weapons. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then your rapid fire are going to get a 7% buff to non-precision and 7% buff to precision. So this is like your steel feather repeaters, misfits, reckless oracle. So there's a couple reasons that I'm excited about this. First off, I love auto rifles, and honestly, in PvP, I'd been using them a lot, even though I not I know they're not meta. And in this last season, I reverted back to sidearms for kind of a mid-range game because I got some particularly good rolls with longer-range sidearms. So those have become useful for me. The other thing is some of the recent changes that are coming in. So shotguns are now going to you're going to have to be more accurate with them. They're, the changes they're making like to fusion rifles and shotguns are actually good in that you're not going to have drift when you're trying to aim, but they're also going to require people to be a lot more um, precise. And then snipers are getting a little bit of a nerf, so the game is going to get balanced a little bit more, and I think with what we're doing with auto rifles, it's going to allow auto rifles at again that mid-range game to play a bigger role than what they have probably in a little while. So let's talk about what weapons I would recommend for this. So obviously, if you're good at auto rifles to begin with, you're gonna want to utilize a weapon that's getting the biggest buffs. So with precision and rapid fire getting buffs, you could use those, but adapt is getting the biggest buffs. So if you like those weapons, and again, I happen to like those weapons, then that would be a good opportunity for you. So if you think about adaptive uh, weapons, there's a lot of options. One of the largest archetypes they have within auto rifles. One of the things I did is I was looking kind of what I wanted is I first off I wanted something that was decent range because if you're going to contend a, a lot let's say for instance with hand cannons at mid range you're going to need something that gives you a little bit of range if you're getting too close then side arms and things like shotguns are going to take you out so because of that with an adaptive that takes out a lot of other low range things like arc logic either doctor duty bound things like that those take those out because they're lower range their lower range auto rifles. So even if I narrow down based on longer range, you're still going to have a lot of weapons to look for. So how do you narrow it down? I think the number one perk that you can get for an auto rifle is to have the trigger. Now you can get things like Zen Moment and other items that kind of help because auto rifles spread a lot of bullets and you want to be as accurate as possible with those, right? Because especially if you're going to get hand cans, you want to flinch those guys. A lot of times so they're having a hard time aiming at you right that's who you're contending with at the mid-range game so tap the trigger zen moment's great zen moment procs and becomes better as you do damage tap the trigger starts out becoming more accurate and it's enormous uh, difference it actually can invalidate stats like recoil direction and things like that just because of how much more accurate it makes it so if you think about long range adaptive frame auto rifles to tap the trigger you're left with a few options so really at that point, your only options that I would recommend for that would be Gnawing Hunger, which is actually the longest range auto rifle by uh, default stats, and Ford Path. Ford Path is a weapon from year one of Iron Banner. Unless they're going to bring it back, it's actually not an option you can get. There's some other exotics we'll talk about, but let's let's talk about legendaries first. So in that case, like Ford Path, I, have a, I, I do have a Ford Path. I love it. Um, it doesn't have um, random rolls on it. But it is a good weapon, and I used a lot in year one. Gnawing Hunger, which you can get from the Reckoning, is actually a really, really great weapon, and it has some great perks. 
One of the other things that separates it is that you can get drop mag on this. So just think about the scenario. If you have a longer range weapon, in this case mine is masterwork to range, so it's even longer. It's got a generally decent recoil direction. It's at a 54, so it's close to middle, even though it's a little bit lower, but it's still a decent. If you have that, you have longer range, you can contend at longer ranges with it. It's gonna have pretty good recoil control and you're having tap the trigger so that you're kind of hitting shots immediately. The great thing about it is it doesn't even matter what the reload speed at that point. And because those weapons have so much ammo, you can kill something and you reload super, super quick. It's something that's going to destroy in Crucible next year. I'm really looking forward to it. And that's something you can get from the Reckoning. And I have a video where I kind of talk about details there. So again, those are really great weapons. So then let's talk about a couple other things to add to this. So exotics, in that adaptive frame, we have Monte Carlo and Hard Light, which is in some ways is gonna be pretty crazy. So Monte Carlo, especially if you run something similar to my Infinite Invisible Hunter, Monte Carlo, one of the great things about it is that it reduces cooldowns on your melee availability. So for Night Stalker, that's gonna be your smoke, which can you can use against enemies or to make yourself invisible. So that's something that's great. And it's Markov Chain, so that over time, if you're doing damage, you do increased damage. So that's, that's gonna be interesting to use. And then there's also Hard Light, um, Hard Light's Adaptive Frame. So the great thing about that is think about this. So it's getting increased damage. It has no weapon drop off so, or it has no drop off as far as range. So even though it's not a great range weapon, it doesn't have drop off. So you can basically use that much longer range and the ricochet things. You can do some interesting things in battle. So I'm, I'm going to see a lot of videos that come out with what people have done with that, that weapon. So those are going to be two really cool weapons that you can use next year. And then I know Bungie's going to announce soon what it's doing with exotic armor. But you can see there, as long as they don't nerf it, this could be where Titans could bring in something like Actium War Rig. And so with his auto rifles, you could have a situation where you could have auto rifles up and never have to reload them. So again, even the drop mag I talked about uh, earlier wouldn't even come into play. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it'll be interesting to see how some of this stuff kind of develops. Obviously, auto rifles in general will be getting a buff, but the adaptive frame, which again is my favorite archetype to begin with, is going to get a huge buff, and I think it'll really allow it to tend in the mid-range game with things like sidearms and with hand cannons. If you got value out of this video, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.